Hi there guys, it's Karen, and I'm um, here with Whiskey Sour, who's back in his uh, regular position today. Gosh, he got so tired from that drive along the Pacific Coast Highway. <laughs> uh, it was a great, I had a really great day. Frank had taken me out, um, yesterday was the anniversary of my mom's death, and he took me out, uh, we did a long drive along the coast. We were hoping to see some mudslides, <laughs> but as it turns out, it was all, most of it was cleaned up. So, uh, California's had quite a time. It's now raining again, if you can believe it. Uh, just, you know, we had a, a gorgeous uh, day or two here, and then it started to rain again. Uh, but I didn't do a vlog today, but I still wanted to check in and say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Feliz Navidad, <laughs> no, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate or don't celebrate. I know uh, Christmas is different for everybody, and uh, I certainly understand that. Uh, I had a lot of phone calls. Uh, it's been uh, kind of a crazy day. I started off with some phone calls, and then uh, I decided to run away to the movies. I asked Frank if he wanted to go to the movies with me today. <laughs> uh, he's the only other person left in L.A. And uh, we went and saw Little Fockers, so it's really super funny. But uh, uh, on the way to the movie theater, we saw a dog get hit by a car. And not to bum you out here or anything, but uh, please watch your pets. You know, it's, it's, Especially on roads where there's a lot of traffic, but I know how fast it can happen, I do understand that. But we were driving along, it was the car in front of us that hit the dog. And I don't even think that car knew, it was just busy traffic, you know. But uh, the front door of their house opened, the dog bolted straight out from you know, right to left. And then uh, the back end, at last second the dog kind of turned to go back. And at last second the back end of the car hit the dog and ran over its back end. That was, that really messed up my day. <laughs> like, really messed up the dog's day, uh, you know. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't, you know, put it all on me, but I'm just so sensitive to these things. And uh, the scream of the dog is kind of implanted in my head all day right now. That's all I can hear is the screaming from when it got hit. It was a small dog. It was like a kind of caramel-colored little dog that was kind of terrier-sized. It looked like maybe part chihuahua, part terrier. And it kind of reacted to run back and at that time by that time the owner had kind of hit the sidewalk and then picked up the dog but i don't think the owner saw it happen so i know i rolled down the window and said listen the dog's back end you know he's probably gonna soon find out but the dog's back end was hit by the car and um so he said you know he'd take care of it and everything but that was kind of a a crazy crazy thing that had happened so that happened on the way to the movie theater but the movie was really great movie was uh, the, the uh, Little Fockers, and so, you know, I always, anything with Robert De Niro, of course, or Dustin Hoffman, it's quite a star-studded cast, really, you know, Ben Stiller, if you haven't seen uh, Meet the Parents, or uh, the second one, I uh, can't think of it right now, um, uh, Meet the Fockers, right, and so that was a really good movie, um, so the, that was a good little break, kind of, from, I would seriously go to see a movie, like, once a year, usually I just watch them on DVD or something, but Today was a good day just to, oh my god, I gotta breathe, you <laughs> know. So other than that, the phone's been stuck on my ear, uh, just with family and everything. So it's good always to talk to them. Uh, on a good note, uh, we're working on the public playground video, getting that wrapped up. So uh, that's kind of exciting. We had it all cut together and, you know, Frank had said to me, well, you need to be in it. <laughs> and I was like, what? So we had... Uh, shot uh, some with me and so it's getting all edited and cut together so I really want to show you guys that you know, uh, by the end of the year here that's my goal so I love it I think uh, you guys sent me some fantastic footage so I can't wait to show you that uh, also thank you so much for all your love uh, and uh, people who remembered about losing my mom on the 24th that was uh, yesterday the 24th was the um, anniversary of her death and that was quite a time and because of her death I'm extra sensitive to people who are going through a lot at Christmas time and uh, some of the uh, hurdles that come our way that we don't expect at during the Christmas season you know you expect to just go buy presents and be best and be with families and all of a sudden you're kind of thrown a curveball and many of you have been you know, dealt a really bad hand at this time of year the time of year that I lost my mom uh, it had been a long road kind of up to it. She had five years of cancer and then the last two years is it, it was in her liver. They had given her six months and she went two years so that was uh, you know a gift in one way but watching her suffer was really hard so when she finally 
uh, passed away, it was, a, it was a blessing, and she was ready to go. In fact, she had told me well before that that she was going to spend Christmas with Jesus that year. <laughs> and, well, away she went, morning of the 24th. And uh, that whole uh, that whole week was in funeral homes and um, mourning her, celebrating her, you know, all that stuff. And so I, I have always recognized that not everybody's Christmas is really good. A lot of people are very alone, lonely, or have suffered incredible loss, or have been thrown some really bad curveballs, been dealt some really bad hands. So I'm very sensitive to that. So for any of you that are going through stuff, my heart is with you. Uh, it's important to remember uh, these people. It's important to also be aware that not everybody has that you know beautiful tree with all the presents under it, and that not all families celebrate. There's just a lot of very sad people, there's a lot of very depressed people, and as I've said before, it, it just, uh, the, this time of year can amplify it, but it, it, just because somebody's lonely this time doesn't mean they're not lonely the rest of the year, it just amplifies it a lot. So I, uh, I, um, I was glad that Frank was thoughtful enough to take me out yesterday. I think you know, he, he had recognized that that was a, uh, a day that I can either do okay that day or, or not do okay that day, and I had a really great day. We did a PCH cruise to see if there's any mudslides from our flooding here in Los Angeles. And uh, we hit this, uh, not the Santa Monica Pier, we hit the Malibu Pier. And that's a way more chilled out pier, there's barely anybody on it. And uh, and it was just it was just nice to go look out over the water and stuff on the pier. So that's what happened uh, yesterday. So I've actually, a couple days in a row, left my apartment. <laughs> You know, before I leave permanently. As you should see my place is a wreck. I got um, most of my instruments are put into cases. They're not up on walls anymore. Um, and bags are kind of uh, packed and ready to go for whenever I get out of here. That's uh, going to happen in the new year sometime. So I've been packing for a few months in anticipation for that. And uh, what else is going on? Uh, Lots of work in between, preparing for the NAM show, which uh, is going to be happening uh, second week of January in Anaheim. And we're presenting our, we have an app that we've been working on for a couple of years called Jamit. And it's going to be launching on the iPad and desktop for the NAM show. So that's part of why we haven't been, you know, most of people are still working in the company, <laughs> haven't been spending time with the family. Just trying to get ready for that really important uh, launch, and so I'm um, like, looking forward to seeing a lot of my playground buddies there, uh, people that we worked on the playground project with. It's going to be great to meet you guys face to face. There's so many talented musicians that I can't I can't wait to meet lots of you, tons of you. So uh, that's going on, and of course just the uh, the general craziness and uh, all that other stuff. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now. <laughs> But so I didn't write a proper blog, but I did want to check in with you guys anyway, uh, and hope that you, whatever it was that happened with you on Christmas, that you had a wonderful time. And um, and if you haven't had a wonderful time, um, Medicaid, I guess. <laughs> I guess that when we look at that list of Christmas ideas that I did the other day, maybe Medicaid is a good one. Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> that is a joke. So nobody can blame me later if they go Medicaid. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe try that, or sleep, sleep's a good one, let's replace that with sleep, <laughs> Karen said sleep, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna crash pretty hard tonight, I think, just that kind of day, I'm listening right now, and because the rain has started again, and it's a Saturday, I can hear the, uh, sirens from the 101, I'm not that far from the 101, and I can hear the sirens right now, so hopefully, there's, uh, no crazy drunk drivers, unfortunately. I think we lead the country over here in California with the number of drunk drivers. Can't believe it still. Still can't believe it. Uh, it's uh, because everything is really spread out in California. There's um, there's uh, not a lot of cabs in relation to how many people want to get drunk and party. And so if you are living in North Hollywood and you want to go party in Beverly Hills, you don't want to pay all that money for a cab or wait for a cab. So you just get in your car and drive. Doesn't matter how many drinks you've had. It's really easy to do for these people. Uh, I do not condone it, and uh, you'll hear me say often, please, <laughs> please, when you're a
spending time with your family this Christmas. I have had people who had lost loved ones to drunk drivers, and so I can't reiterate that enough. So watch your pets. Do not drink a drive. Hug each other more, love each other more, and don't argue over the petty stuff because uh, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's, this is supposed to be a great time of year, so we need all the extra energy that we can muster up just to make it a, a sane day. So, uh, I'm a little more emotional today, I think, because this dog uh, can't get rid of these uh, stomach butterflies. You know, those kind of pins and needles that you get in your hands. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow, write a, a better blog than today. <laughs> so uh, until next time, from Whiskey Sour and me, <laughs> rock on guys.